What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video and today I'm going to be showing you guys a technique you can use with the new duplication glitch to actually allow you guys to get unlimited bottle caps, armor, weapons, um, pretty much any weapon mod or armor mod you would need, plans for your camp, pretty much any item in the game basically. Not only is this glitch pretty simple to do, it actually can be done pretty quickly. So if at any point in time you think this video is helping you or you're just enjoying it, make sure you like and subscribe and let's get right into it. Alright everybody, so the first thing you want to do is start off by duplicating a whole bunch of treasure maps. Now, treasure maps can be found all throughout the wasteland. Many of you probably already have some in your inventory, but I'm not going to go into actually where you can get every single treasure map in this video. You can easily look up a ton of guides on YouTube or on Google. They're all over the place. But to actually do the duplication glitch, all you have to do is gather 300 leather and 1500 wood and go to a weapons workbench and once you've done that all you really need to do is just start crafting a bunch of any weapon in here the reason i said wood and leather is just because that is how you make a board and it is pretty much the cheapest item in here it takes to actually make now you're actually going to need to make 300 of these boards so you're going to want to actually kind of do this as quickly as possible once you have crafted the 300 you're going to want to make sure that you have a container nearby that you can put those items in now this is solo gameplay of me doing it here just to prove they can be done solo i went put my items in the uh, open world container that I wanted to do make sure it's nearby so you can actually kind of go to it quickly because it can disconnect at any moment but I would say you'd probably need to duplicate around 500 to a thousand of these depending on how much you want to do if you want to get a lot of caps you can duplicate as many as you want to up to you know 10,000 if you really wanted to the only thing about these is they don't really stack so you're gonna have to put each one in individually so just keep in mind you need some time before your game disconnects so you can only do so much and another thing about these they don't really weigh anything either they weigh zero so you don't have to worry about them you know kind of over cumbering your inventory but once you have those items inside of the container you just kind of want to wait until your game disconnects now there are many different strategies you can use to this you can just do alt at four right after you place the items in there or you can do a uh, trade with a friend to actually crash the game but kind of just be careful when you do it because um if you do some different strategies sometimes they don't always work so i just like to wait until the game disconnects once your game has disconnected, you want to go ahead and exit out to the main menu. And from this point, you're going to want to load from someone that is currently on that server so you can go back to that container. What I often do is just load into a friend's game, and while they're playing the game, I'll just go ahead and use them as an anchor to stay in the same server. Once you have loaded back into your game, make your way back up to that same container, and then when you look inside of it, you should have those same maps that you duplicated before, and now they should be doubled. The nice thing about that time, you can actually go into container and store all, so... You don't have to go in each individual one, but like I was saying, probably duplicate this up to about 500 to 1,000 times. Once you have duplicated the mats, it's as easy as finding the location of the treasure that is shown on your map. Now, this can be searched through an easy YouTube search. You can go and find them. All the locations are online. Um, the one I'm at is actually located just at this fissure site, but you can actually go up to the mound, and when you press dig, you can actually keep digging for as many maps that is in your inventory. So you can press this button thousands and thousands of times if you guys can see in the top left corner i am getting a ton of different things like right there i got a gatlin laser fusion cores bottle caps armor pretty much anything guys it's absolutely ridiculous how much stuff you get out of this another item that i actually forgot to mention that you can get with doing this is a bunch of stem packs and psycho tats and a lot of good aid like that some of the rarest ones you can get so you should never have to be worrying about getting any materials again or any aid the cool thing about doing this is even if you are a low level you can use this technique to actually unlock pretty much every single modification so you will never have to worry about not being able to craft or modify one of your weapons right here i actually give you guys a sort of look at my inventory and this is doing this for maybe a minute and a half at most but you guys can just see how many armor pieces you get from this and like i mentioned you can actually scrap these down to get additional mods that you're getting so not only are you getting plans just by pressing the button by by scrapping all these down you're unlocking weapon modifications for those as well if you combine that with a few perks to get additional scrap when you're scrapping these down you can get some pretty valuable materials as well right here is all the psycho buffs and psycho tats and sim packs i've already gotten from doing this like as you guys can see this is absolutely ridiculous this is just by literally sitting here for a few minutes this over here is all the junk you guys can see you get a lot of gold silver cloth gears a whole bunch of really good items like that as well and if you take a look at your notes that's where you can actually take a look and see all the recipes plans and different things you get with that as well um with this you're going to be getting additional ammo not a lot but you're still going to be getting ammo 
And with this, you don't actually just get really bad weapons, you actually get some pretty highly modified weapons as well, such as Gatlin lasers, I've gotten a few dragons before, a ton of actually really good items that could be used. One thing I do want to mention about this glitch is that it is going to overcumber you by thousands, so I want to make sure that you guys put a camp nearby that you can easily walk to, to go ahead and put those items in your stash, or either scrap them down to do something with them, because you can get really, really weighed down by doing this. As you guys can see, just by doing this glitch one time, I pretty much unlocked every single armor piece there is, and pretty much every weapon modification that there is for it as well. But that is pretty much all for this video today, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. I plan on live streaming later today, so if you guys want to hop in, say what's up. We're going to be live streaming on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Both links will be in the description, as well as if you want to join our Discord, that link will be a pinned comment on the top of the comment section for me as well. So... If at any point in time in this video you guys felt like you enjoyed it or it was just helping you out, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.